Iron nitrides are a class of interstitial compounds composed primarily of iron, Fe, and nitrogen, N. These compounds are characterized by the insertion of nitrogen atoms into the interstitial sites of the iron lattice, significantly altering the physical, chemical, and magnetic properties of the base metal. Iron nitrides exhibit a range of stoichiometries and crystallographic structures, depending on the nitrogen content and synthesis conditions. The most well-known phases include Fe2N, Fe3N, Fe4N, and epsilon Fe3N, each with distinct structural and magnetic characteristics. The phases can be metastable or stable depending on temperature, pressure, and nitrogen partial pressure, which plays a crucial role in determining their formation and stability. From a structural perspective, iron nitrides often form in face-centered cubic, FCC, body-centered cubic, BCC, or hexagonal close-packed, HCP, crystal structures. These phases can be hard, brittle, and exhibit excellent corrosion resistance compared to pure iron. One of the most technologically significant phases is gamma Fe4N, which exhibits a perovskite-type cubic structure and ferromagnetic properties. The epsilon Fe3N phase, with a hexagonal structure, is also widely studied for its thermal stability and strong magnetic anisotropy. Iron nitrides are important both scientifically and industrially due to their unique combination of magnetic, mechanical, and chemical properties. In the field of magnetism, iron nitrides are used as soft magnetic materials because of their high saturation magnetization and low coercivity. Fe4N, in particular, is known for its high magnetic moment per atom, making it attractive for applications in magnetic storage, spintronics, and transformer cores. The soft magnetic nature of some iron nitride phases enables their use in high-frequency magnetic devices and inductive components. In mechanical and surface engineering, iron nitrides are employed for surface hardening of steels through a process called nitriding. This thermochemical treatment introduces nitrogen into the surface layers of iron or steel components, leading to the formation of a hard nitride layer that enhances wear resistance, fatigue strength and corrosion resistance without significantly altering the bulk properties. Nitride layers consisting of gamma Fe4N and epsilon Fe3N are especially valued in automotive, aerospace, and tooling industries, where components must endure high mechanical stress and abrasive environments. In catalysis, iron nitrides have gained attention as promising materials for applications such as ammonia synthesis and decomposition, Fischer-Tropsch reactions, and electrocatalysis. Their ability to activate nitrogen and hydrogen molecules at relatively low temperatures has made them attractive alternatives to more expensive noble metal catalysts. In particular, Fe3N and Fe2N have shown catalytic activity for nitrogen reduction reactions, NRR, and oxygen evolution reactions, OER, in electrochemical cells. Their low cost, earth abundance, and tunable catalytic activity make them suitable candidates for sustainable energy technologies. Beyond these applications, iron nitrides are also being explored for use in biomedical devices, microwave absorbers, and magnetic refrigeration systems. Their biocompatibility and tunable magnetic properties have led to investigations into their use in targeted drug delivery and magnetic resonance imaging MRI, contrast agents. In electromagnetic interference EMI, shielding and radar absorption, Iron nitrides offer a combination of magnetic loss and dielectric loss mechanisms that make them effective in high-frequency applications. Some concrete examples of iron nitride materials include Fe4N, which is used in soft magnetic applications and surface coatings, Epsilon Fe3N, widely found in nitride steel layers and studied for its magnetic and catalytic properties, and Fe2N, which has been researched for its role in catalysis and as an intermediate phase during nitriding processes. These materials can be synthesized by methods such as gas phase nitriding, reactive sputtering, high-pressure high-temperature synthesis, or chemical vapor deposition, with the choice of method influencing the final phase and morphology of the product.